this series of work which is called Inhale is um, about receiving the divine gift of breath and it's part of a trilogy and it's the second part of a trilogy. The first part was called um, Breathing Space which was about um, the preparatory void and was about the idea of us being here so just the idea of us being here. Inhale receiving the divine breath uh, was perplexing for me because and when I explore the concept um, my artwork helps me unfold the story so I started with a whole lot of different approaches until finally um, the universe came to me and that is the breath that is breathtaking and breath giving I work the elements of kind of that found object approach, you know, just finding things, responding to what it is that it's giving me. Um, I'm fundamentally a sculptor. I have um, many art forms that I explore, uh, whether it's sculpture, um, encaustics, drawing, doodling, writing. All of those art forms uh, um, help me to discover things about this planet, about myself, about relationships. So I don't engage with the visual arts to present something to anyone, really. It's more a research-based approach and allows me to engage with my intuition and to find out about things that I otherwise wouldn't have as much clarity about. I think that that's what the art does for me. Yeah. The, uh, it's a, there is a continuum in and I feel that I'm part of a, a continuum. You know, it's like whatever preceded me is part of me. And as I, whether I'm aware of it or not, um, my Greek heritage, my Egyptian influences, my personal interests in um, indigenous artwork, you know, all of those kinds of things. I, it's not necessarily um, conscious, but it's very, very much part of me, and, and that's why I see it m more as a continuum. So I am part of something that preceded me, and now I have an opportunity to express something. But as mentioned before, the expression for me is more about an un me understanding more through that process, and and the and then being gifted with something beautiful that it created kind of by itself. So I didn't really plan it out that way. I'm not, I'm not really, I don't plan things out. It needs to be something that I can touch and feel. That's why I guess I like encaustics and that's why I'm working more so with encaustics in, in this exhibition. Um, I need to be moved by it. It needs to move with me. There's a dance, there's a surprise. I'm not sure where it's going. I'm in the unknown. And then I stay with it even through processes or periods of doubt. I stay with it and stay 